How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how compression fittings work and I'm going to give you a few close-ups of the process of putting it onto a pipe. Uh, I'm also going to go over the advantages and disadvantages of why you might want to use these. So for this all you need is a pipe, uh, your compression fitting, maybe some thread tape if you want that's optional, and then just a wrench. This section is for the ferrule ring. This ferrule creates a liquid seal when the fitting is completely tightened. As the compression fitting ages, this ferrule ring can get stuck, so you'll need something called a ferrule puller to get it off. A tightening nut goes on right here. As the nut is tightened, the ferrule is forced onto the pipe to create the seal. For an extra watertight seal, you can add pipe tape onto your threading. Some people might say this is overkill, while others would say it probably wouldn't hurt. And then you can just place your pipe right back into the fitting. So you can take your wrench and then tighten it until you feel some solid resistance. You don't want to go too far because you could damage the fitting or the ferrule. So compression fittings are popular because they don't require soldering, which means that they're very easy to install. So they don't require any special skills really or tools. Another important thing is that they're about half the price of something like a push fitting, which is another advantage. And also these just create a great seal. So a disadvantage of compression fittings is that they're not as robust as soldered fittings. So these generally go into areas that aren't susceptible to flexing and bending of the pipes, whereas soldered fittings can handle all of that. So water hammers and just shakes in the piping are better for soldered fittings, but that may cause some leaks in these compression fittings. So some people will probably say that using thread tape on a compression fitting is overkill. So let me know in the comment section what you usually do. And I have another video on the channel that you can watch after this that just covers all the different types of fittings you can possibly use. And as always, if you like the video, like it and subscribe to the channel.